I feel that all scientific research will ultimately benefit society, but the research coming out of Crocker Nuclear Laboratory is more practically applicable in the near term. We really are treating people with cancer. We are doing accelerator instrumentation, and we've also provided beams of particles uh, to study radiation effects primarily for the space industry. Historically, this was a very interesting facility. On the Davis campus of the University of California, the Crocker it was built in the 60s. Uh, it really helped establish the physics program at UC Davis and was originally built to do nuclear physics. Uh, through the 70s and 80s, they did a variety of studies, uh, primarily uh, involving environmental research. I was brought here a little over two years ago to expand the scientific mission of the Cyclotron. So we are starting a number of new initiatives. We continue to innovate. We continue to come up with new methods and new techniques to understand our environment and our world at greater detail. Whether it be nuclear physics or instrumentation development or novel atomic physics. Uh, and in particular, we're interested in the educational opportunities for students and also forming partnerships in training people to use a cyclotron that would be applicable to other facilities. I'm a graduate student in the chemical engineering department, and our lab group uh, studies the hematopoiesis of hematopoietic stem cells. For prolonged space travel, astronauts will be exposed to a varying dosage of radiation, and so it's important to understand how uh, radiation affects the hematopoietic stem cells so we can understand how it affects their immune system. We engineer this bone marrow tissue on a chip and we look at how these hematopoietic stem cells differentiate in response to different radiation conditions. The person coming to this facility can really understand the operation of the machine and even take part in it, as well as set up their entire experiment and do the entire measurement pretty much from beginning to end. And I think it's an invaluable experience for a student or a postdoc. I'm a chemical engineer, but our lab group is mostly composed of biomedical engineers, but it's a very good collaboration between um, the engineering departments and the Department of Physics here at, at UC Davis. At the Crocker Nuclear Laboratory, we've essentially invented our own sampling methodologies that are uniquely keyed to the beam energies of the cyclotron. The metallic particles in the air have a huge impact on human health, in lung disease and heart disease, possibly dementia and Alzheimer's disease. So getting a better understanding of these particulates, we're going to better be able to prescribe medications for heart disease or improve our risk assessments for patients. We've set up in our lab such that we've made ourselves available to vulnerable communities. The communities in California who have very limited budgets to work with, we can support them in their efforts to clean up their own air. We've had a long-term relationship with UC San Francisco and their radiative oncology department, and they perform uh, the treatment of uveal cancer, which is a cancer that forms in the retina. We've treated thousands of patients over almost five decades. This particular beam actually only delivers about three centimeters depth of radiation, which is wonderful for an eye patient because it means that they are not getting radiation delivered to other parts of their body and so it really minimizes the side effects that they're facing. There are a number of rapid developments that are happening in the field, and in fact, one of the projects that we're working on here uh, with the folks uh, at Berkeley and here, uh, as well as UCSF, is a project that we are testing for microchips to be able to place in the back of the eye to actually measure how much radiation is being received, and, and that is particularly interesting because there's nothing like it right now. One of the capabilities we're developing to serve the, particularly the high energy physics community, is the capability to give high level irradiation, where we can irradiate uh, devices and materials that are going to go in these high radiation environments and then study these things after irradiation, uh, study such things as thermal conductivity and tensile strength and electrical properties. What we're looking forward to in the future is expanding our mission into other areas. We were able to bring in funding to develop Astatine 211, which is a cancer treating uh, medical isotope. That's a significant undertaking. We also recently got a significant grant to work together with other labs uh, 
Los Alamos, as well as Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory, as well as universities, UC Santa Barbara and UC Santa Cruz, to develop high-speed accelerator instrumentation uh, that's based on diamond as a semiconductor. We're excited about a number of things, and we would like to get the word out that we are available.